just wonder if you get tired of uh, of being outrageous. If that gets into the conversation at, at all. If you describe yourself as ordinary, what adjective would you use? I'm um, 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 David Bay. <laughs> Uh-huh. Well, I'm reluctant to make the judgment about what category you fit into, and I'm hoping that Good. you would say, yes, Good. oh no, I wouldn't be that pretentious, but maybe Thank you me. have a feeling yourself. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really very old-fashioned. I like moving from one area of writing or performing to another um, to keep me excited, to keep me interested, to keep the people who come to see me or buy records interested and excited as well. You didn't understand that, don't feel badly, because I certainly didn't. Uh, David, I know you're watching tonight with the BBC film crew, uh, and it's wonderful to have your old-fashioned entertainment around until the Beatles get back together, but uh, it sure would be nice to talk to somebody who's not being evasive and discussing riddles. I'm closer to the golden dawn Immersed in Crowley's uniform of imagery I'm living in a silent film Portraying Himmler's sacred realm of dream reality I'm frightened by the total goal Drawing to the ragged hole And I ain't got the power anymore No, I ain't got the power anymore July the 3rd, 1973, the Hammersmith Odeon in London. David Bowie plays the part of Ziggy Stardust for the last time. Ziggy was Bowie's most celebrated role, a weird and fated rock star, who was both a parody of the archetypal rock star and an extension of Bowie's own personality. Now Ziggy play guitar, jamming good with weird Well, he made it left hand But he made it too far Became the special man Then we were Ziggy's band Ziggy really sang Screwed up eyes and screwed down hairdo Like some cat from Japan Oh, he could kill them by smiling He could leave them to hang Ziggy became a spectacular success, and so ironically did his alter ego, David Bowie. And then at the height of his fame, in the presence of thousands of screaming fans, David Bowie killed him off. Bye-bye, we love him. He was born David Robert Jones in Brixton, London in 1947. At 17 he was Davy Jones, playing saxophone in his own band. He studied mime and decided to combine this with music to create a new and spectacular rock theatre, in which he played characters like Major Tom, Aladdin Sane, and most successful of all, Ziggy Stardust. Two years ago he came to America and buried Ziggy somewhere between New York and Hollywood.
since you've been in America, you seem to have picked up on a lot of the idioms and themes of American music and American culture. How's that happened? There's a, there's a fly floating around in my milk, and he's put there's a foreign body in it. You see, and he's getting a lot of milk. It's kind of how I feel. A foreign body here, and I it just I couldn't help but soak it up. It, you know. I hated it when I first came here. I couldn't see any of it. Look, a wax museum. Imagine having a bleeding wax museum out in the middle of the desert. <laughs> think it'd melt, wouldn't you? <laughs> um, <laughs> What made all of this important to you? I mean, with your background, why, why were you intrigued by all of this? Um, it, it was, I mean, it filled a vast expanse of my imagination. I, I was always pretty imaginative. And the, the imagination can dry up in wherever you're living in England often. I mean, if there's nothing to keep it going. It just supplied a need in me, America became a myth land for me. I think every, every kid goes through it eventually, but I just got onto it earlier. The area that we are now driving through was at one time exclusively for movie stars, producers, writers, and so on. Straight in front of you, the home of Dean Martin, right straight in front of you. Somebody was standing in that doorway and I tried to get up fast enough and I couldn't. Okay, coming up to the right side of the coach again, folks, well, it was the former home of Dean Martin's very best buddy, Frank Sinatra. Who also happens to be her stepfather and Linda Christian. Marbella reports Sean Connery settled the fight. Obviously, Sean hasn't forgotten some of his former James Bond tricks. Just want your sex Bad baby, bad Show me 